now. Go. Hello, everybody. My name is Aubrey St. John Lassen, and you're watching Centering After Dark. <laughs> I'm here with Nyla Rose. The native beast. <laughs> Nyla, so I saw you yesterday. Yesterday was fan fest. How crazy was that? Like, all the, we had like all these local wrestlers as well as big time former WWE people, such as Warlord, The Godfather, Papa Shango, uh, two member. Volkoff. Yes, two member for the Spirit Squad, Virgil, uh, Tony Atlas. I mean. RBD, who's coming back to WWE? And God bless him. Bobby the Brain Heenan was there. Oh, he was? He was. He oh, was. There, how did I miss him? It, there were so many people there. It's easy to miss. I, I almost missed him. He was at the table right behind me. It was it was uh. that packed uh, with, with, with people, fans, you know, wrestlers, uh, you name it. Everybody was there. Uh, the the Birdman Coco Beware was a few tables down. I, I didn't even get a chance to say hello. I, I kind of yeah. waved to him from I from afar. The, the magic rose from afar because our table was um, like in the beginning, but it was so big. Like I, I I had no chance or no time to go around like I actually wanted to. I mean, most of the people I, I got to meet because they came up to my table. Yeah, it was, um, to see the the Godfather and Papa Shango. And uh, my table was sunny. Papa Shango and the Godfather were there. Yeah, well, the Godfather was there early, then he had to go and do some other stuff, and then yeah. we had to fill up the table, so I, I know they Papa Shango came. No, yeah. the Godfather's scared of Papa Shango. I'm scared of Papa Shango. <laughs> but Colin Delaney and Sonny and um, and other people, Marty Jannetty and, and uh, John the Clown, yeah. they were all like on, on our table, like on our side, like right next to us, so, and I got to see Jake the Snake, and... And these people, but they were close, and Rakishi, Dido Brown, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's insane. I mean, you can't actually miss, Masara was there too. You, you can't miss Rakishi. His, his personality is as big as his, um... His rear. Well, yeah, I'm not, not going to say anything else, but, but yeah, there's, there's a lot, a lot of fans uh, just, just overflowing. Uh, truly a star-studded event. I mean, I think... I think uh, uh, it was the Marina and Seaport Inn in, in, in Fairhaven. I think they jam-packed this thing yeah. with, with wrestlers uh, just out the wazoo. I don't really know where the wazoo is, but <laughs> if you locate one, there would be wrestlers coming out of it. Yeah, there were so many names. Median, Gangrel. Um, I'm trying to think of everybody that you, I you fucked can't. You, you, We need a list. So you people. really can't. <sighs> You know, Bobby Lashley was uh, down at, at yes. he was there. Jillian Hall, I saw her for like two seconds. Oh. Chris Masters. And uh, Howard Finkel. Not just Howard Finkel, yes. but the Madison Square Garden microphone. I, I'm telling you, oh, everybody God. was there. The microphone even showed up. I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. And if, if I'm not mistaken, this was the third time? The third yeah, it was uh, the third fest. third fan fest, um, third annual fan fest. Mm -hmm. And they also had a, a, Hall of, a, a Hall of Fame, well, their version of the Hall of Fame induction later that night. But um, I was able to see some, um, but I had so much work with interviews and uh, so many people t uh, to attend to. But it was, it was incredible. Um, but I was happy to see you. Of course. I mean, we've been talking so we, long. We waved from across the room. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but I've been waiting so long to see you and um, get you on at Center Ring. Um, so let's talk a, a, a little bit. Um, how long have you been uh, working? Uh, well, let's see. That's, that's kind of a hard question. I, I really never know exactly how to answer that. Um, it's been about three years in the business. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the first couple of years I used to do behind the scenes kind of stuff, video production and what have you not. Um, then I got the, the bug bit me, you know, as they say. And I was like, oh, um, well, do you mind if I go out to the ring? I want to just... So so I was lucky enough, um, I had a promoter let me go out to the ring and it just that electricity you get from being in front of people, I, I couldn't get enough of it. So. Eventually, I uh, let my, my background in martial arts kind of take over, and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm getting getting the itch again. Let's let's get me in that ring. So that's kind of where we are now. I bet because I I, I managed to bring an awesome ballet before, and once 
once you're out there, it's like, There's you know, no turning back. when I'm in the gorilla position, as they call it, I'm, I'm very, like, shy, very <laughs> nervous about going, but when, once you get out there, once the music hit and you go out there with whoever you go out there with, or even by yourself, like, it's incredible. Like, There's no other you want to do that like every single day, every single weekend of your life. There's no other feeling like it. It's, 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 a, it's an interesting cycle because the fans, you know, when... When you, whenever you go to a wrestling show, please be vocal, be loud. You know the the wrestlers. We we feed off of that. It's it's not a Barbara Streisand concert, you know, or or when well, I guess you would sing along there too. I don't know, <laughs> but don't don't sit on your hands. Get out, cheer, hoot, holler, boo, scream, shout, whatever, make noise. You know, because we we feed off of that, and we'll work harder, and that'll make you cheer more. It's just this crazy cycle. Yes. Um. <laughs> Have you ever managed anyone? Uh, very briefly, um, but they let me down, so I, I had to I had to sever ties and hop in that ring and just kind of show them how it's done. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do it yourself. So, right? if, if, what do you say? If you want something done right, do it yourself. Do it yourself. <laughs> oh God. So where if fans want to see you, where can they see you? Uh, well, if they want to see me, you, you can't go wrong coming to see me live. Now you're probably asking, how do I know where you're gonna be? Well, you can go on Facebook, definitely on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Native Beast. That's N-H-V Beast. Uh, from there, you can kind of get a calendar listing of everywhere I'll be. I've got a YouTube channel, uh, Twitter account. I'm not going to bore you with all the details here, but facebook.com slash N-H-V B-E-A-S-T, and you'll get all the details on how to get all those other links. I don't know if we can throw a thing up. I don't know what you guys say, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you can get you can get all the connects through there. Yeah. <laughs> or you can always hit me up and I'll I'll direct redirect you to her. Direct. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. So if bookers wanna book you. How do they get in contact with you? Now don't give out your number because we don't want crazy. I shouldn't. People. I shouldn't just. No, don't give out your number. Just say. I uh, shouldn't just say seven zero three two. No, no. kidding. <laughs> I won't um, be responsible for that. So if you get crazy phone calls, I'm not responsible. If there's any bookers out there interested in having me, um, you can always get in contact through Aubrey here, uh, through Centering, or her any any contacts you may have of her. But again, facebook.com slash Native Beast. Um, let me know who you are, where you are, and we'll work something out. Yes. You, I, I definitely want to, I want to see you do some shows here in Connecticut. So if any people are, and I'm calling you out right now, that new uh, federation I think is uh, Real Warriors uh, Wrestling, uh, they're, they're, they're going to have an event coming up. But you guys, PWA, CCWE, ETW, Wrestle Jam, and NEFW, I'm calling you guys out. Kind of. Don't get offended. <laughs> <laughs> but book my friend, Nyla Rose, her. Um, if you want to book her, get in contact with her or me. You guys know how to reach me, how to find me, and um, yeah, let's get you over here in, um, let's do in it. Connecticut and New York area. Let's do it. It's time. It's time to, to, to spread that out because I've kind of kind of taken over the lower end. You know, we got the D.C., Virginia, Maryland, West Virginia. I've got that under control. So I think we need a. I think we need more girls up here. We need to start branching out. Yeah, yeah. you know the the, the rose garden as we'll call it. We definitely need a lot of girls that can actually wrestle and fight, and we we, we don't have many girls up here. Okay. Um, we did have one girl in the area that was really, really good, but she was from Mass. She um, she used to wrestle as Mercedes KB, but now mm -hmm. she's at WWE NXT as Sasha Banks. So we need more girls to fill out that void, you we know? Get, yeah. Do you know of any schools around here? Cause I, yeah. I'm, I'm passing through. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't fault me. I, have, I, I don't know any schools in the area. Well, but we have um, the PWA, which is actually down the street. From, I'm not going to say where I live. But down the street from my house, PWA, <laughs> and we have, um, I think, uh, the new federation is going to have their own school. And I heard something about CCWE opening up their, their own school here in Connecticut, as well as FCW, which is in um, to have um, a school in New York. Actually, two schools in New York. Well, there you go. So, ladies, yeah. don't be shy. Go get in touch with your wrestling school. We gotta get out there and kick some butt. Definitely. You know, some I, girl power. If I have to take this back to 96, the Spice Girls, <laughs> you know what I mean? If I have to do that, I will. You girl power and all that, yeah, cheers. All right, then. 
So, any last words before we go? Uh, no, thank you for having me on. It's it's an honor, pleasure, and it's just it's so good to finally actually face to face meet you. Um, centering world, internet world, vlogman. <laughs> It's good to have you guys behind us, behind wrestlers, behind me, at the risk of sounding selfish. Um, please continue to support indie wrestling. That's probably the most important thing I can say. Definitely. Go out to the show. You know, they, the little, the, how do you say, it? the little local guys, they need your support as much as the big names. Absolutely. So, without the, you know, and the, even the big names were little local guys at one point. Yeah. Because no one just woke up and said, let me get this WWE contract and just went into WWE. Everyone went to school. Everyone was a local wrestler at CM Punk, Brian Daniels. Those are like the main top indie guys. And, and look where they are now. You know, like, and look where they are now. Exactly. So, you know, you got you to gotta support everyone. So support indie wrestling, which Centering is all about indie wrestling. That's right. We talk more about that than we do TNA and WWE. But because of that. So, Nana Rose. Aubrey St. John, Centering. Nala, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.